Hello my soccer universe. Finally we're gonna look at some jerseys from this year's uh, club season and although I wanted to start in the Premier League I decided to start in La Liga for the simple reason I'm getting a Premier League jersey uh, early next week that I really would like to have as a backdrop in my video. And speaking of backdrop let's quickly look at the jerseys here. You have them in the order, ah, not quite in the order, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Valencia and Real Madrid, those are the four teams that I have jerseys of in La Liga. I know this should increase soon, um, remains to be seen. At the moment I'm a little bit more, I don't know why, I mean still collecting Serie A jerseys, I want to get some Bundesliga, maybe some Liga jerseys, because you know I have kind of the big four in Spain and yeah, Sevilla, Espanol, those would be the ones that I'd be interested in. Anyway, how am I gonna do this uh, review now? I'm not gonna do it exactly like last year where I went alphabetically through the teams and uh, you know, right in the first video I had already Barcelona and Atletico Madrid clashing, which is something I don't wanna have uh, this year again. So I decided to, uh, within the video, still do it alphabetically, but I'll split the teams up. I go one, two, three, four. Those are kind of the seeds for the four videos. And then take the next four, distribute them over the video and so on. So you get from the first four one, from the second four one, from the third four one, fourth four one, from the last four. You get one team um, uh, according to the table last year. And that way I kind of have the big teams a little bit spread out and we get uh, a whole sampling um, all around. And yeah. I'll look at the jerseys, I'll let you know what I think, I'll give a grade and then we'll move on and we'll have tomorrow hopefully uh, another video out for those. So I'm gonna plan now every day that you get a jersey review video. I will do the Premier League right after La Liga, but let's get started. The first team that we're gonna look at is actually the defending champions, Barcelona, um, who for a second time that I can remember, have a really outrageous shirt. Do you remember in 2015 when they had uh, hoops? Now, they usually had vert vertical stripes, maybe half and half shirt. Now they went for checkerboards a la Croatia. Kind of weird, uh, right when you want to get rid of Rakitic, that you put this Croatia look on the Blaugrana. Um, my first thought was this would have been a Croatia away jersey that I've been expecting for a long time. Uh, the blue jersey with red, I think this could actually work for a change, but as a Barcelona look, I am not sure. I have yet to see it in game. Um, I just saw a little bit preseason. It just looks really, really, really odd to me. At least a few things work in its favor if you go the checkerboard pattern. But you know, already the checkerboard pattern puts it down way down the list. But at least you have one checker reserved for the crest, you have one checker reserved for the Nike logo, and I actually think that even the sponsor fits nicely within three um, of those squares. So um, that I think is okay. The blue sleeves, yes, it's the Nike template. I think the best feature is in, in a way that how, how you got the Catalan flag in on the collar and not on the taping on the back. That is something I actually like. I wish that the sponsor, of course, was not white, but rather um, yellow as the one on the sleeves too. But other than that, yeah, I mean, it's a clean execution for the whole thing, but I still find it crazy. Um, and yeah. This might have been one of the worst Barcelona shirts ever. Two stars. However, the away jersey is the exact opposite. All the non-traditional stuff that is happening in the home jersey is not happening on the away jersey. We are taking the yellow and then we'll take a sash with yellow and uh, with blue and red. It looks glorious and it harkens back to the Cruyff days when they had this away jersey, when for the first time they didn't have a white away jersey. Yes, Barcelona used to have white away jerseys, believe it or not. Now, they, if anyone would suggest a white away jersey, uh, there would be blood on the streets, I would say. But I have to say, I really like this design with the sash going across. Now, the one thing that I was wondering, wouldn't it look better if the sash would go through the crest? But you know, in this way, I mean, it kind of accentuates the Nike logo, uh, so also looks kind of nice. But you know, just um, 
just a thought. Uh, also, look at the sleeve cuffs. They are alternate colors. This is a touch they like. And of course, you have the taping on the back uh, in the Catalan flag as we had in uh, last year's jerseys. This is a really clean looking one. The only thing I dislike is that the sponsors, of course, breaks up the sash. Um, and I know it's really hard to find a color that this uh, that you can it not cannot be broken up. Uh, but yeah, I think white will not work. That's always nowadays. It's a downer. I always think. But other than that, a really clean looking great shirt. Probably one of the best Barca uh, away shirts in a long time. Um, Maybe I wish it was a little bit more fluorescent yellow, but I still think it's a great one. I saw it in the opener, it looked fine. I'll give this a full nine stars. Then there's also a third jersey and potentially a fourth jersey. Uh, the third jersey takes inspiration from the 97 away jersey, 96, 99, 97, you know, when Ronaldo was playing, the big Ronaldo, uh, Brazilian. I uh, was playing for Barca. They had this type of a uh, color for an away jersey, a little bit crazier than this one though. Um, and they won the Cup Winners Cup. Yes, remember that comp competition? Yeah. That was actually an interesting one. Um, the first thing of note here is that this is the old Nike logo. You have to swoosh and it says on top Nike. This is something that we haven't seen uh, since the late 2000s, I've, I, I would say. And I'm not even sure if I have a jersey uh, with this Nike logo. I would have to look that one up. Um, I honestly think the color for um, away or third jersey is fine. I really love the color. That's absolutely great. It's now the pattern. I understand this is the flag of Barcelona somehow and I like the idea but it, it's a little bit gets too much. So for that reason also the sponsor why isn't it in a navy blue as all the other accents I think that would also make a whole lot more sense. So Overall nice, but not perfect, and for that reason I am only give this 8 stars, but it's still a really, really nice jersey. Let's move on to the next team, Athletic Bilbao, and <laughs> this was the first matchup of the season, Athletic Bilbao, in these jerseys against the yellow Barcelona jerseys, and you have the video on the Golazzo uh, up there. Uh, again, New Balance is making the Bilbao kits and like last year they're going with kind of white stripes, um, which yeah, last, last year at first when I thought it didn't look too too bad, but I really really miss the thinner stripes for Athletic Bilbao I have to say. Um, I also find that the black underarms are a little bit weird and also the stripes are cut off on the top. It's a little bit of a puzzling look overall. Yes, when, when they play, it sounds like it looks like Bilbao, blah blah blah, except that it's again a sponsor, which Bilbao should not have. Um, and yes, the, the width is for one off okay, but I think now for a second time in a row, uh, not that happy about it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to think about it. Um, I'm actually more thinking that this is not that great look looking for jersey and I'm gonna give this four star. Uh, the away jersey actually I like a lot better, although um, to me it's contentious, but again it takes the forest green, it uses gold and red, uh, very African like in, in, in a way, but these are also the, except for the gold, the colors of the Basque uh, flag and you see even the flag um, kind of hinted, hinted at in these lines that converge behind the crest. Uh, as an away jersey, this one looks glorious, to be, to be honest. I really, really like this one. Do we need the monochromatic crest? Maybe not, but I think the overall look is really, 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 really pleasing. I'm gonna give this, um, yeah, eight stars. Could be, if you do something a little bit with the shoulders, could have been better. Moving on to the next team, Celta de Vigo. Um, the first Adidas team that, that we're looking at, and we will see this a lot in all the jersey reviews. Uh, the standard Adidas teams, the ones that are not in the top six, usually get a template and slap a crest on it. And that's what we get here. It's the Tiro template that we already saw with Algeria at the AFCON, and we saw it a whole lot at the Women's World Cup. I think Germany, Sweden were two countries that had uh, this kind of template. 
with Vigo it actually looks nice. You have the light blue, you have the dark, I think there's also navy uh, stripes to the side. Um, and yeah, then you have a kind of a fold over v-neck, which is a classic Adidas template. Do I wish the stripes were going here? I think that would look better. Um, the sponsor could be a little bit smaller, but actually it fits a little bit with the, it fits with the color scheme, so that's also not too bad. Overall, I think this is a solid jersey. Um, not, I mean, it's a template, but it's solid, so I give this seven stars. Now, the away jersey uh, is also really interesting, um, as it is not necessarily uh, super templated. It just takes this maroon type of color and then puts a band in light blue and light blue stripes. Do I wish this was purple and not uh, maroon? Yes, I do. I really like their purple away kits last year. They looked really sharp, but this one looks pretty cool as well. Uh, I have to say, a um, little bit Aston Villa West Ham in there, uh, but of course um, you have the band here. I like this look. Uh, also gonna probably... Nah, it's about as much as the home kit. Also gonna give this seven stars. I think Celta looks overall quite nice. And then we are at the second to last team, not the last team yet, Real Sociedad San Sebastian. Macron is the supplier and if you watched last year's video you know that I absolutely love Macron jerseys. Yes, I do. However, I think here Macron goes for also a little bit wacko. I like the idea. I mean the color, it's a very slim rugby style collar. You have the stripes that I would uh, expect for San Sebastian, but what are those frills in there? That is something that I don't necessarily like. It makes the blue a little bit slimmer, uh, or you know, there's a slight gradient in there. It's not bad per se, but um, it could look better. And of course the back is also blank, which mm, I don't like. On the other side, at least the sleeves are also strapped. So that has it. That's something positive going for it. You see also the new Macron logo. It's now kind of this V with a hat instead of uh, the more stylized celebrate celebratory uh, soccer player. But yeah, I mean, I think if you watch this in game, it will not look bad at all. And I think um, it's overall a decent jersey. So I'm also gonna go with this with seven stars. And I saw yesterday at Valencia this, then their away jersey, which ah, doesn't quite make it. You have, again, a checkerboard pattern, but now it's or it's more like an Argyle pattern. It reminds me a lot about Belgium uh, 2018. Um, so you have it green and then it goes into this yellow, a little bit Norwich-like. Then you have the monochromatic crest where you basically don't see the crest anymore. So some black accents in there. Then this type of color Napoli once had, and I actually wouldn't mind it, but what's this on the side? This is absolutely not necessary. It just uh, goes up and then it is broken up on the back. Really don't like that one. Uh, that's a jersey that's a little bit hard to stomach to me. Yes. There was a better one. Uh, it's maybe a little bit more colorful than the last years where we had gray. But yeah, not too crazy about that one. Four stars. And the last team that we're looking at is Real Valladolid, another Adidas team. And they get striped jerseys. Last year they were with Hummel, now they're with Adidas. And they get absolutely classic striped Adidas jerseys. I really like this one. Um, Reminds me a little bit Argentina 2014. That was a good looking one. Um, in kind of that you have the shoulder stripes, like short like on this one here. Then you have the Adidas striping, you know, three stripes down the middle. There's another one going here, but you know, you have kind of the branding there. Then uh, I really like the color with the purple and then the red accent. I think this is really good looking. Um, I don't know if there will be a sponsor on there. I would assume so. But for now, I see it here sponsorless, also the red Adidas logo. Pretty solid effort. I'm gonna go with this for, um, yeah, eight stars. I think if the purple was a little, little bit lighter, I could see myself going a little, a little bit higher, but it's a really nice looking jersey. Anyway, so is the away jersey. Um, look at it. It is purple, it has also the white collar with the red uh, trim. I don't know why this picture was taken in front of the Golden Gate Bridge. This is not very much Valladolid-like. But other than that, really 
nice solid jersey. I wonder if this is also a Tiro template. No, it's not because there's some red pinstriping, which actually makes it a little bit better looking overall. So yeah, also a really nice one. Also gonna give this eight stars. Well, that concludes the first part of my La Liga jersey review. Maybe spend more time than I should on Barcelona. But other than that, yeah. I think were some interesting jerseys in there. Let me know which jerseys you like, which ones you disliked. Let me know what you think about my ratings, whether I'm wrong or not. Definitely want to hear about from you in the comments below. And yeah, I will talk to you soon with part two. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists uh, that you might give interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my uh, channel to give you all the updates, all the things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, have a great day.